Yeah, I'm Mark, and um, so I'm going to show a start to an application uh, that I'm hoping you're interested in. It's a SIGMF-centric project. Uh, and for those who don't know about SIGMF, please look it up. I don't have a time to go into it in the lightning talk, but it's a way to facilitate sharing of RF recordings and, and other purposes. Uh, but what I'm showing today was it was developed as part of a multi-day uh, hackathon uh, at Microsoft uh, that myself and several coworkers uh, worked on last week. And it's currently going through open source review. And once that's done, I'm hoping it can be um, used as a starting point for a community-led effort. Um, and OK, so as far as what it is, let's say you're someone who maybe you're into RFML and you're browsing data sets, like on RF Data Factory, or you're checking out Daniel Estevez's awesome um, recordings of satellites and radio astronomy. Well, you end up downloading like either a huge zip file, multi-gigabyte uh, RF recording, that's kind of the standard process. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it works. But what if sharing RF recordings could be better, just kind of made nicer? Maybe not easier, but a way where you can show someone your recording or your data set in a way where they can automatic, like, uh, immediately, uh, uh, you know, check it out. Just kind of like you, you search YouTube for a video, you can see a thumbnail, metadata. You can immediately look at, like, the first few seconds or jump to the middle. So that's kind of the whole point of this tool, uh, which I'm calling IQ Engine. And um, so let me swap over. So the entry point to the tool, uh, it, it, currently it sort of assumes your recordings are all stored on cloud uh, blob storage. But the vision is you could have them either be a local file or on, on storage. You would enter you know, the account information or the local file and open up a directory of all your, your SIGMF recordings. And you would get all the you know, important SIGMF uh, information like center frequency sample rate, number of annotations. You can look at your annotations. Um, the real vision is to be able to then edit this information in the browser and have it update the meta file. You can look at a thumbnail of the spectrogram. And then you click on one of the recordings, and you get to an, an online spectrogram um, that can show you the annotations. And if you notice the bar on the right, so it only downloads the first you know, like million samples or so, does the FFT in the browser. It's all front end, so pretty scalable. And then when you scroll to the bottom, it'll um, automatically fetch more data uh, over the slow Wi-Fi here. Give it a second. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. So it, it kind of just grabs more data as you go down. And in the future, I can imagine a way to like be able to zoom in and out through decimation. So you would probably need a back end to do that. Um, you can change the, currently you can change the scaling on the color map where it redoes all the FFTs in the browser. And that's sort of all we have right now. Although as part of the hackathon, we also made um, tooling where when you upload the SIGMF recordings to blob storage in Azure, it automatically parses the metadata and fills a database with it. That way you can quickly query, perform searches, and then there's a way to actually get the samples based on those searches. And then one of my coworkers made a, a signal detector for when you have a file with no annotations yet. A uh, quick way to just perform a basic signal detection, get the rectangles, and then you can use this, the spectrogram viewer to see how well it worked. But it was really more about the plumbing of being able to um, add a detector to the, the toolkit. Anyway. Um, yeah, the visions, so right now you can only view the annotations, but really the vision is to be able to add and edit annotations and other metadata uh, in the browser. Um, so really, the goal is to be able to more easily collaborate and share RF recordings. Everything's offline. Uh, you've probably seen a bunch of spectrograms in a browser, you know, real-time spectrograms, but this is all offline. Um, so if, if, if you think this is cool, I'm really hoping it can become a community-led effort. Uh, it's not going to be a Microsoft product, don't worry. Um, so, you know, any additional work would, would be done, like, through the SIGMF um, community, which, which I'm part of. And I'll be working on it tomorrow. So if you're around and want to chat, feel free to come up. If you're not here tomorrow, you can email me at uh, mark with a C at gnuradio.org. Um, or chat with, uh, you can join the SIGMF chat channel on Matrix as well. And that's all I have. I don't think I have time for questions, but I'll hang around the back in case anyone wants to come up. Thank you.